Okay. It looks like it's working. Hopefully, it's not too loud. Okay, I hit the button so everybody knows I'm out here. I like the little uh, voiceover. Hear that? It's close. Let's go give it a warm welcome. Wait, take this. A crossbow. Won it in a card game while you ran around. Might come in handy. A witch with okay. a crossbow. We break okay. my tradition. Uh -huh. Stop talking. Got a griffin to kill. He's like, shut up. Let's go. Oh, what is this? All right. Watch out. Where is it? Oh. The hell fuck is she? Tell me what you got.
Hey. I'm trying not to. Oh, he's getting away. Not bad, not bad. Though you could stand to improve something. Yeah, I know. I mean, like, yeah. Tell me, what do I need? For example, upward vertical strike. It's too obvious. But more on that later. Take the Griffin's head to the Black Ones. Already our horses. Meet Gross. me at the inn. in the same field which do not match mutagen's remains. Okay. No more abilities, no more mutant just yeah, match the colors, got it. So I don't have any points to help with this, but okay. All right, what did I buy here? Melt armor, damage dealt by Igni also permanently weakens enemy armor. That probably would have helped in the fight just now. No points available. Okay. All right, well, that's good to know. 
<laughs> Alright, we out of here. Oh, we're going this way. Was that Bessemer's horse just hanging out? <laughs> just chilling, you know, whatever. Magic. A place of power. Oh yeah, this, this, this is gonna end well. Okay. Alright. Cool, cool. Not scary at all. But I don't know what to to make of them. Oh yeah, those bodies hung up by their feet. No, that's fine. Just random horses just chilling. <laughs> oh wait, I'm gonna go this way. So fast, Roach. Do I need to take this off or anything? I just could, I guess. Oh, jeez. Yeah, this is the part that I don't like. We have much work to do here. Quite a lot. Ooh. Discipline. That is what you folk lack. What uh -oh. the hell is this? Roy! You take me for a blind man or a fool? This grain is rotten. I, I, I didn't know. So, a fool. Damn it, you'll never learn. Military Codex, Article 2, Section 3. For the delivery of defective goods, 15 lashes with a knout. Oh, jeez. Make it so. Oh, no, no! By the gods, no! He was so nice before. Well. What? Guess you've dropped your good uncle act. It was no act. I extended a hand to these people. They spat on it. Could it be because it held the sword that killed their loved ones? Tch! <laughs> a moralist. And what would you do in my stead? Wouldn't ever be in your stead. Dang. Tell me why you've come. Fulfilled my end of the bargain. Your turn. Where'd Yennefer go? To Vizima. She was a day's ride from here the whole time? Under my nose? Might have said so. Yes, I might have. But you would not have killed the griffin. Tit for tat. Mm, true. Halt! We are not done. It's yours, this gold. I would not want you to say you were inadequately compensated. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna take the money, thanks. I mean, that's the Witcher code, right? The plague! No more! Please! All right, where'd that guy go? Oh, jeez. I don't know where that's happening at. Please, no more.
I don't know where this is happening, but I hear it. I no can't. More. Please, no more. Ooh. Mercy, please. Ah! Out of my way. Is the yondrain in my care? What do you want, wanderer? Uh, I don't know how to, how to help the guy. will never believe it. Roach. Whoa oh, there, Roach. I guess I gotta get down. in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so... Something wrong? Look around. Trouble brewing. Oh, yeah, he trouble. Who are they? Patriots. Drinking their seventh round for Tamaria. Fist starting to itch. Don't see any enough guardians. They'll find another foe. I'll buy some provisions for the journey. Then we'll go. Geralt. We should stay out of it. Just this once. Oh, great. Alright. Well, let's go then.
What happened to the lilies? Took them down. Took them down to hang a golden sun there now. I cannot show to Marian colors. They'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fund of the Imperials. You Nilfgaard's whore. Wow. I'll let that pass. I know grief eats at your heart. You know shit. They hang my sister, dragged her out the cloister like a dog. Said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition. That they don't fear the wrath of the gods. And you, do you fear it? If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son to Let's my sister to into the no. birth. And you don't oh. fear the gods' wrath. You don't fear oh. it, you cunt! Damn. <laughs> Wow. Let me be. Here we go. Recognize this medallion? You know what it means. Back off. You all right? No, she's not all right. They say witches steal young'uns. That's true. What the emperor promise you, freaks? Your own land, like he did the elves once. Get out, all of you. We ain't going nowhere. And neither are you. They won't back down now. I can see that. Start swinging. As one! You're dead! Oh. Okay, well that was easy. Oh jeez. Do all that, Gerald. But it's all right. It's over. It. over. Leave me be. Get away. See his face. God save us. Be gone, and don't ever come back. <laughs> so much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. We tried. That brawl, we didn't start it. Excuses, excuses. You've not changed a bit. Y Yen? How? I received a report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you, looking for me. Obviously. I might have waited until you found me, but... Well, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's... Good to see you, Geralt. I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? Sorry. Wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? He didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you. But I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it. In Vizima. Ready your horses. Why not tell us now? We can talk here. Some charming orchards nearby. In bloom even. So you almost can't smell the corpses. <laughs> Tempting proposition. <laughs> Real Sadly, smooth. I must say no. You see, someone awaits you in Vizima. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys. Or, to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Okay. And I number among that group. For as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well, now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse. <laughs> I didn't, though I could have. Okay. Uh. No, we're not gonna question Fine. it. Guess I'm willing to hear him out. The Emperor of Nilfgaard, Lord of Metina, Ebbing, and Gamera, Sovereign of Nazare and Vitovara, will blah, blah, blah. feel honored, I'm sure. Why what about you? So I'm going in the opposite direction. <laughs> I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. 
Besides, I've got things to do at Care Morhen, remember? Yeah, I remember. Thanks for your help, Vesemir. See you soon. Okay. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible. Ooh, got an achievement. Find your Rebecca back. Why do I not have this achievement already? I only started this game like five times. Just the beginning, but then. But then. Uh. Rise now! We shall talk of this tomorrow, all right? After the audience. Chance will decide for you. Interesting. Okay. I can better figure it out. Bath time again. We're at the sensor list. Hmm. It must suffice. cares if I'm clean. You might. The gentleman will refer to his Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the bergère. The what now? In that chair. Okay. Katwin, we shave the gentleman sideburns to half an inch. What's wrong with my beard? Always thought it added to my dignity. It does. Yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. Especially beards infested with lice. Been on the road a while. Fine. Do your thing. <laughs> Tilt your, your head back, please. And sit still. And prepare to answer some questions. Uh oh. General, I am not certain this is the appropriate time. I can't think of a better time. Men turn honest when they feel a blade at their throat. Movran Vuris, commander of the Alba Division. Before they take you in to see the Emperor, which there's some information I need you to verify. It's a formality. 
but one that must be seen to. Sure. Okay. Paperwork's gotta be in order. So, Geralt of Rivia. Place of birth unknown. Parents unknown. Age unknown. All insignificant details. Let us proceed to more recent events. The siege of La Valette Castle. The fate of the defending commander one Arya. I don't know. Um... We fought on opposing sides, true. Then we landed in the same dungeon. Arian escaped, set fire to the castle on his way out. Ah. So that is how the blade started. Our reports suggested the dragon was responsible. A Moving dragon, on. okay. You then found shelter in charming Flotsa, and from there made your way to Vergen. My question is how? I have no idea. Hmm. I don't know. I got out of Flotsam with Vernon Roach, commander of the Blue Stripes and- A murderer of non-humans. We know this gentleman well, Witcher. You forge interesting alliances. Something tells me my most interesting is yet to come. Go on, next question before my beard grows back in. <laughs> we shall shave you again if it does. Very well. The infamous summit at Loch Muin. Loch Muin. You were there. And once again meddled in the affairs of the mighty. Not the way I see it. I helped a friend rescue a child. Anais was not just any child. She was a pawn in a game you did not understand. Okay. You and Roach did not rescue her at all. At most, you moved her from one edge of the board to the other, fanning the flames of conflict. Nilfgaard recently started a war, unprovoked. So do us both a favor and stop moralizing. The gentleman must sit still. I'm almost done. I'm afraid I might find that difficult. Because, from what I know, shortly afterwards you watched a defective megascope blow your friend Sheila de Tanserville to bits. I watched her get in the megascope, but ultimately freed her from the trap your man Letho of Gullet had set. Write that down. I want to be sure the paperwork's in order now. Well, national interest calls on one to forge here. difficult alliances at times. I guess this Alliances is from the second game. with witches included. That an ongoing alliance? What's Letho up to? I had hoped you would answer that question. Ah, so Letho's hiding from you. Must have a good reason. Was there a shift in national interest that might have caused that? I don't know where he is. Wouldn't tell you if I did anyway. Blade or no blade to my throat. I believe that is all. Your signature, please, affirming you stated the whole truth and nothing but the truth on pain of imprisonment or death, etc., etc. Here and here. With these formalities seen to, <laughs> I would ask good, the general good job, to leave I guess. the room. We shall be choosing the gentleman's attire. An important matter, but one that does not require the general's assistance. Shame. I might have given you some advice. So long, Geralt. Good luck with your audience. Okay. Sure. Feels more like I'm being readied for a wedding. Were that so, I would have prepared the gentleman a frock, a tailcoat, or possibly a dinner jacket. In point of fact, the gentleman will choose from these garments. Where are my clothes? Where they should have gone long ago, with the laundress. They will be returned to you after the audience, clean and starched. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. Uh, let's see. Are they all the 
same. I don't know. Okay, this one. Uh, I mean, I'm just gonna be looking at him from the back anyway, right? Whoop. I'll go with this one. It's fine. Whatever. all of it. This one got a little bling on the side. Oh, I'll have to go this one. That's fine. Okay, I'm dressed. What if I get like my shoes clothes off? Clothes do not make the man. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? Of course not. <laughs> a studded doublet and a sword on my back, that's what would satisfy me. But tough, when in Nilfgaard. Yes? It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the North racist. and South. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. I'm not some boar. I know how to bow. Please, demonstrate. That, sir, is how you might bow to a whore on a street corner. Not to the Emperor of Nilfgaard. Please watch. Leg extended. Hand flat. Head down, chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Uh, what did he say? Right hand on chest, yeah. Hmm. Lacking fluidity and grace, but we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. Yeah, I don't like this too. The gentleman will address the Emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate title. Your Arch Magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. Let's <laughs> turn off all the all of the uh, torches. 
in Grimmy at Art Kerzer. Dyfen Aden in Karn eb Marvut. Emir var Emreis. Bow. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. Avelian namen vat gern favort. Okay, I guess. Maybe I shouldn't have bowed. <laughs> I thought you bowed before no man. Didn't want to disappoint the Chamberlain. We're friends. Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter, Cyrilla, she's returned, and she's in danger. <laughs> the wild hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. Are you sure? Siri left, went far, far away. Do you believe I drag you here in the middle of a war to discuss a rumor? I think anyone can be wrong. Even an emperor. I had forgotten how insolent you can be. Yeah, I haven't the time to convince you, nor the desire, in fact. Yennefer will do that after the audience. How many men in your army? 20,000? 30? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Mm. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless, if for no other reason than because I shall pay you more than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. I need information, not motivation. Siri leaves few tracks. She'll be hard to find. My corps of spies will help you. Count on them and my army, should the need arise. Yennefer will tell you the rest. <laughs> okay. This audience is finished. Yeah. Meredith! Take him to the sorceress. He didn't bow. He bowed like whatever. Follow me, if the gentleman pleases. Please keep close. There are many honorable guests in the palace, whom the gentleman... Disgusts. ...need not bother. And it's past noon. Calm yourself. Do you know who you're talking to, soldier? Oh. I'm Hedegaard, the second <laughs> prince of Elasdor. Not only am I made yeah. to wait here like some Amen. supplicant, Ratsliden enekt es tun es saur am main fire. Ein Watgern. Ein Watgern. One false move and you will regret it. Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. Yes? Then transcribe. The true authority in Novigrad is not the city council or the merchant's guild, but the church of the eternal fire. Geralt, that tunic, you look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different <laughs> circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Yeah, okay. Now do you understand why I'm at Amir's court? Mm-hmm. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? 
Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. Huh. So they're our agents now? My, my. You've clearly settled in quick. Geralt, don't twist my words. I know who Emir is. He started that, that this war and its choice. bloodshed. He had my friends killed. But I haven't any other choice. So please, let's not belabor the pros and cons and instead focus on finding Ciri. All right? Right. Amir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Ciri. Using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything haruspicy. really. I knew the wild hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trick them. Well, guess you were wrong. Yeah, obviously. Mm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt. Before the wild hunt does. Okay, I'm gonna try. So where's Siri been seen exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords, secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. <laughs> All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Okay, all right. Which is? Triss Merigold. Oh. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently. It blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Siri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. Okay. Hmm, optional. One thing before we go. Why didn't you contact me? Didn't need me? Didn't even want to see me? I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. Boo. Yen, I'd lost my memory. Really? That's your excuse? Let's drop it, all right? It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it. Any of it. All right, fine. Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Velen, get you there at once? Not oh. gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and you really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roam the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. And Geralt. I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me in one piece. Aww. I shall be waiting. All right. What? What? Oh, okay. She just kind of disappear. Uh, we'll do all that. Yeah, let's read that. Uh, that's too much to read. Second set of armor. 
the swords. Legends are all I can offer. Well, thanks, Jennifer. Maybe I can't do my inventory right now. Is there more stuff over here? Ooh. Okay. I'll just loot everything. Nicely. Uh, I wonder if the other picture is the alternate version. Ambassador Varatra, Yennefer suggested I ask you about current events, the war and so on. Of course. The Emperor's servants should keep no secrets from each other. If you will, let us approach the map. Okay. Map. What's new in Skellige? Nothing. The islanders pride themselves on that, don't they? Doing everything according to tradition, as their forefathers did. And like their forefathers, they quarrel with each other, pillage, occasionally attack our transports. This is cumbersome, 
Okay. Sound awfully confident. What if King Bran is a feeble? All right. How's the war going? I mean, apart from the fact that Nilfgaard's triumph is imminent. I assume this to be a private conversation. We've no witnesses, so let's dispense with the propaganda, even that shrouded in irony. Our offensive was going splendidly until winter came. Edurn was in such disarray that we encountered no resistance. We had reached the Pontar before the first snows. Only a weakened Kedwin remained, and Radovid's Redania, which had ignored the rest of the North's pleas for help. We thought they'd sue for peace, perhaps even submit to vassalization. We waited for spring, certain of victory. Yeah, Radovid? Like, no. Submit? Yes, a vain hope, I agree. Radovid sent no peace envoy, nor did he advance on our positions. Instead, he trudged over the snow-bound Kestrel Mountains and attacked Kedwin, his ally. Well. This attack took the Kedweni by surprise. They were still mourning the loss of their king. Rudderless and dejected, they laid down their arms after a few lost skirmishes and joined Radovid. Oh, smart. And so by spring, instead of two weak enemies, we had only one powerful one. What about Kavir? Kavir values its neutrality. Enough not to lend its armies, or more importantly, even its coin to either side. Returning nice. to the war, this spring there was a massive battle in the marshes of Velen. Massive, yet indecisive. I don't Both know what those sides words say. <laughs> enormous losses. Unprecedented, even. Radovid has retreated across the Pontar. He's safe for now until reinforcements arrive from the south. Then Emperor Amir Var Emrys will deal with him once and for all. Couldn't you just go home? Save everyone a lot of marching, not to mention a few human lives. I'm afraid the stakes are too high to fold now. We can only go all in. Okay, whatever. Thanks for your help. Think nothing of it. May the great sun light your path. Yeah, I had no idea what you're talking about. Oops, Ooh. sorry. My bad. Oh, we're back in this room again. Okay. Two of those. in there. Okay, sure. Very interesting. Alright, what's up? How might I serve the gentleman? By returning my things. Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Mm. Thanks, Bunches. The Emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound, as soon as possible. Yeah, mention something of the sort. So long. Wish to enlist, Nordling? Yes. Wish to enlist, Nordling? It's a yonder. What? 
Brian Bart Gern war Calm. Squares. Kay? Oh, I guess they all speak no guardian. We cross the Yara, we will cross the port as well. Okay. Time to go. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her Tech at the Emperor's art. command and Yennefer's behest. Who does that? Very interesting. Okay, five days late. That's not fast travel. <laughs> Especially when it took them like one to get there and they go back. That's like five days. Attacked. Wait. Whoa, there, Whoa there, Roach. Cavalry swooped in from the wood. A wall of infantry marched from the swamp. Our boys wished to swear this was. That the black ones would take no prisoners. They gathered our men, stood them in a circle, and cut down every last one like the butchers they were. Harpies cover the middle now. Or perhaps they're king cups, drunk on blood from the soil. Poor folk. I was trying to see what was happening in here, that's all. Lines. 
stone. Okay. Chaplain's praying, can't you see? Do not cast him out, Roderick. All may draw from the well of the eternal fire's grace. Approach, Witcher. Well, don't mind if I do. Huh? Yeah, you get a lot to say, but then you don't say anything. Okay. What do you want? Rejoice! That was For him. even okay. a creature as depraved and base in nature as you can serve the glory of the eternal fire. Someone must see to the corpses on the battlefield. What? Necrophages defile those not already rotting in mass graves. This is not right. That's to be my good deed for the day. A handsomely profitable one, I might add. I know your kind don't work for free. Nah, I'm good. Not interested. Farewell. That sounds like a pointless uh, cyclist. Maybe something cool will happen. I'm not interested though. Still got this griffin head over here. Show me what you got. Next one's come. When they come, I'll tend to them. Meanwhile, let's you and me chat. Like to know who I'm untying. Okay. Yep. John Verdon. Served in the 10th Maribor Division. Long way from your army. The army don't exist no more. Black one smashed it to bits. And I scarped off into the woods just before that happened. Mm. Join a group of refugees. Fucking bursting with patriotism, they were. As soon as they learned I'd abandoned Tamaria in her hour of need, they beat me down. Tied me up like a turkey, left me to the drowners. Fine, I'll help. Oh, thanks. For a minute there, I was almost sure you'd leave me to die. That doctor just put in the work to save you, I mean... I'd like to thank you somehow, but I'm not a chip crown to my name. Tough. I'll take the loss. Thanks, Witcher. May you prosper on the path. Well, that was a good deed, I suppose. Drown our brain. Okay.
Police Roach knows which way to go. Duh! A stranger! Saw him over there! You don't care her away, you tell I'll not give her up! Not on me life! They hear her squealing. They'll kill us and take her all the same. So I'll slaughter her myself. Hide her corpse neath the floorboards. Those bastards won't have her! All right, all right. We'll cover the be gone! This has naught to do with you! Leave this place, sir. Be gone! This has naught to do with you! Leave this place, sir. Alright, whatever. Wait. Wait, is this where I was before? I don't think so, there wasn't a fence here. Yes. Looking for a man, goes by Hendrik. What do you want with him? Want to talk to him. What about? Give me a bottle of something strong. Gotta go. I'll open the back way for you. Got company. Who is it? In Cape Vodka. Who's this? A brave warrior looks like. Got two swords, see? Oi, great boy. What's the point of having two swords? Wonder if he keeps an extra prick in his trousers too. <laughs> you fucking deaf. Gonna say who you are? Or do I need to loosen your tongue with me knife? No, oh, don't do that. How about I buy everybody around? Why would you? Got the coin for it. Simple as that. I don't drink with strangers. When we share around, won't be strangers anymore. Then we go our separate ways. And which way might yours be? Away. Is it just me, or is that none of your fucking business? I must be hearing things. You ain't. He meant to insult. I'll have to kill him then. Ah, uh, great. Powerless thing, Bob! All together, now! Sorry. Another Have you uh, any idea what the Baron will do when he learns of this butchery? The village! He'll tear it apart before anyone can say it was some wandering mutant done it. An iron fist he's got! Where's Hendrik? You deaf! Understand what I'm saying? Baron won't let this stand! Calm down. Your Baron's no idiot. Seriously doubt he'll think you locals cut his men down with farming implements. Now, where's Hendrik? Man lives in Heatherton. Don't know where that is. Other side of the hill. Looked that away this morning and saw a strange glow. Imperials on the raid, perhaps. But who knows? Anything else you can tell me about Hendrik? Odd fellow. Arrived from who knows where and for no apparent reason. Shacked up with a widow whose husband was stabbed for a scrap of bread. Baron's men don't like strangers. Aye. He stays out of their way. Always seems to know when they're coming. Always manages to disappear. Pretty good. Thanks, okay. Inky. Go out the back. More of the Baron's men in the village. No need to worry about me. I'd rather you not make any more trouble for yourself, for us both.
Oh, he's stuck in there. Being sent to Tamaria, God bless me. Don't even want to mess with that. cellar on a hot day and the mist come on Whoever you is, get away! <laughs> or just fall down. Calm down. It's over. Aye, it's over. All's past, never to be restored. I'll not forget that ever. Okay. Looking for a man named Hendrik, supposed to live in this village. Aye, he did. No longer. They nabbed him in that hut. If you'd have heard the cries, sir. If you'd have heard how a man can scream, how he can suffer. Tell me what happened here, step by step. They took him. Took him all. Okay. Theme. The sun was waning, see, and the dusk went crimson like blood. Thought to myself, strange, the tones, I cannot hear them. No, it was the wild hunt.
sparkly. I know not what happened there, save terror through and through. Hendrix screamed, then he begged. By the end, he could do naught but moan. the terrors yet the village froze like in the heart of winter you in that hut when they rode off no and i'll not set foot there never farewell and peace of mind to you <laughs> hopefully him maybe they missed something something in his jerkin what does that mean need to check his pockets there's nothing in his pockets Trousers are stiff as if hung out to dry midwinter maybe hid something in his jerkin damn he's cold as ice nothing here should check his boots Blood congealed. Key hidden in his boot. Oh, okay. Key to Gotta maybe fit open a key the door. Somewhere nearby, hopefully. Under this rubble. Guess I should do some cleaning. <laughs> He's like, well, I guess I gotta do this. Huh? Yep. Hey, unlocked. All right. Ooh, 
what's in here. A ledger. Payment for a sack of grain. Amount due for a charcoal shipment. Hendrick was masquerading as a merchant. Well. Hmm, what's this? Notes among the ledger entries. Clever. Interesting headings. Clashed with a witch. Subject landed in swamp. Encountered a witch. Conflict ensued. Cause unknown. Okay. Find the witch. Talk to the peasantry. Village of Midcops. Missing and wanted. Subject appeared in Skellige. Also sighted in Novigrad. Appearance unchanged. Ashen hair. Scar on her face. Oh, Avoids contact with others. Drunken swine. So-called Baron hosted subject at his castle. Or should I say, illegally appropriated fort. <laughs> Reason unknown. Talk to Baron at Crow's Perch. Caution advised. I'm being observed. Don't know by whom or why. Unsettling signs. Dog ran off. Uh -oh. Water in bucket froze solid. Strange glow observed in the sky. Ill omen, peasants say. Somehow they learned Hendrik was looking for Siri. Thus the torture. I'm too late. My only leads, the Baron, and some witch. Damn. Somebody in here with me. Yeah, I guess we met Henrik and he was dead on the floor. Ear off. 
Okay, I'm gonna need roots to blink. That would be good. Okay, are you blinking, Roach? I don't think you're blinking. Okay, there you go. He's alive. Okay. Alright. So we made it. What was it? F8, I think, to quick save. We're not gonna worry about that. We're just gonna save it here, call it there. It's been Big Rob playing some, uh, some of the Witcher. The Witcher 3. The Wild Hunt. We'll see what's next with the bloody, bloody, bloody Baron uh, next time. Oh, shout out. Gandalf was lurking. You gotta let me know you were lurking, man. Alright, yes. And with that said, everybody go, go check out Gandalf over here. Much appreciations. It's always a party with Gandalf. <laughs>